Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to start by introducing my colleague Beth, who I've worked with for several years, and we teach a couple of choirs together, so she's an expert on harmony singing. <laughs> hey Beth. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> it's really nice to have you, because today we want to help you with your harmony singing. So, for instance, if you want to sing in a choir, or if you want to sing backing vocals, or if you want to make your own arrangements, or if you want to sing a harmony for a singing collaboration on social media or SMOO, this is the video for you. We're going to give you some quick tips on how to sing in harmony. And we have some exercises that you can do by yourself, or you can do it with a friend, and it will improve your sense of harmony and it will be fun and easy to do. <laughs> so, join us in this exercise and let us know in the comments how you're doing. That's very important. We want to know how you're doing because if you need any help, we're going to give you some help. Now, let me start with a quick disclaimer because some people uh, get nervous when, um, when we use terms like musical theory terms like major scale or other things like that. So just, I want to tell you not to worry. You don't need to worry because we're going to explain everything and it's going to be really, really easy. Uh, you don't have to know any musical theory for this and uh, you don't have to worry about the terms we're using. What we're going to do is that we're going to assign a number to each step of the scale. So for instance, if this is my scale, we're going to give them numbers. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And don't worry about that, you'll be fine. Uh, some people use Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Uh, that would work too, but our system is to use the numbers. And if you do know a bit of theory, that will help, but this is definitely suitable for beginners. Okay, we're gonna dive right in. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to ask Beth uh, to sing a major scale starting from the note A. So I Beth, yes. Shall I sing it with numbers or shall I sing it with like... Uh, numbers, yeah, numbers is okay. good, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, really great, really great. So you guys at home, you try that too. You sing. And you sing with the numbers all the way from one to eight. And what we're gonna do, so like, uh, it's pretty doable to sing the scale because this scale, everyone knows this scale. It's pretty easy to sing the scale and then to add the numbers is not much of a problem. But what we want you to do is come along with us to step number two and then you can learn how to uh, sing the same scale but starting on different numbers because that will help you in the process of singing harmonies. So I'm going to ask Beth again. So Beth, like you started on one now, but could you do the same starting at number two and then also running to number two an octave higher? Okay, so this is one. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. Excellent, excellent. So now you guys, you try this too, right? So let's do it once more so that you can also repeat. So this is one, this is two, and Beth, can you start there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it makes more sense to say nine, right? Yeah, you can say nine. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're interchangeable. Nine, nine is like perfect. If you know any musical theory, nine is great but two works too. Mm. Um, great, so now let's go one step further and I'm gonna ask Beth to start on number three. And so, just for clarity, you're still singing the same scale. You're not changing mm. anything. So in your head, you're still going three, four, five. You're just counting onwards, okay? So don't mm -hmm. change anything about the scale. Just use the thing you know, just start at a different point. So, okay, in the bed now, we're gonna get start on number three. Three, four, five, six, seven, It's eight. It's perfect. Three, four, 
perfect, great, great, great. Uh, so, and then when we're over A, so we go to 9 and 10, they're the same as 2 and 3, just for like the music theory people. For everyone else, don't worry about that. Just as long as you keep on singing the steps of the scale. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to teach you um, how to do this at home. Like, let's say that you have no friend around and you want to do something in harmony. So you, what you want to do is you want to start, for instance, one voice is starting on the one. And maybe the other voice is going to start on the three. Then you get a nice harmony, right? So how about uh, first, I'm going to sing from the one, and then Beth, you're going to sing from the three, and then I'm going to okay. show you a trick how to do this if you're all alone. Okay, let's try this. Should, should we sing with R now, if we're singing at the same time? Yes, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to start here, and then you start there. Okay. Two, three, and... Uh, Yes, it worked. I'm so happy it works over <laughs> Zoom. Yeah, great, great, great. So I'm sure you could follow, guys. And if you um, if you're list if you're looking at this video and you think I want to try that too, you could of course uh, put it back a little bit and then try singing along with us. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but then I'm going to ask Beth to pretend that she's all by herself and she only has her phone, just like you might be on your own, yes. but you have only your own voice available. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to ask Beth to make a little voice memo on her phone and then sing the scale going from one to eight into her phone. And then afterwards she's going to play it back and then she's going to sing from three, sorry, from three to three or ten. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Okay. So I'm going to use my voice memos app. So first from one. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to start on three. Uh, It's so great to have someone like, showing the examples who actually sounds really nice too. <laughs> I great. haven't sung at all today, so <laughs> <saying> that. <laughs> great, great, great. So, but I'm sure like when you're watching this video and you see Beth doing this, you think, ah, this might definitely be doable, right? So please, please try this at home and let us know how you're doing. Now, to go one step further, um, you can also create like a little melody, right? Because you're not always going to sing a harmony that's like only running up and down the scale. So you might have uh, a melody and then you want to sing a harmony to it. And why are we choosing to do uh, starting on one and three? So that's a third up because it's a very common, uh, it's very common to have a harmony that's a third up. Of course, there are cases where a third up doesn't work, but this will like get you quite far. So mm. what we're going to do now is we're going to create this little tiny melody uh, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the third and sing in harmony. Uh, Beth, do you have a like a small little melody in mind? Yes. Um, we, we sang on... So shall I show you with my hand also? Yeah, that would be great. So shall I sing along? Yeah. Are you going to sing the harmony? Uh, <coughs> let's first let's first learn the melody. Okay. Cool. And then okay, I'm ready. So we have la 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 
And now I'll do it uh, without singing also. Here we go. Yeah. La, 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 la. Gorgeous. <laughs> Mm. Okay, super. So, so that's really nice. It's not a, not a very hard melody, but it's definitely a melody. So I think the next step is would be to I try and sing along with you, but then a third up. And what's really handy is so Beth is using her hands to show me where we are in the melody, and you can do this too, because it's just going to show you what step to take. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Let's try. So the, you start there, and I start there. Here we go. La, la, la. I think it worked. It I think worked. it worked. Despite Zoom delay, I think it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you could do this at home too. It's not that hard. So just follow these exact steps and you'll get there. Okay, great. Next step. So now we did all these things with a third, right? But it also works quite well if we do not use one and three. But we could use one and six. It's also a very nice combination. You can try all of the combinations and some might sound really nice and some might sound uh, less nice. But you just <laughs> yeah. try them. And we already figured out that like three and six, they work pretty well. So yeah. we're going to do... Um, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, maybe we should use the same melody, actually. Mm. Yeah, it will work. Mm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so then Beth is going to... Let's sh first show you how it's done. Let's get to the six first. So mm -hmm. one... So Beth, can you sing all the way up to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, so try that at home. And then we're going to start from there. I hope I still remember the melody, but I'm going to follow too. her hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start there, and she's going to start there. La, 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 la. Oh, it's a sad version. <laughs> yes nice. yes yes but it works guys it mm. works it works so you can try this three and six work pretty well and you mm -hmm. can do this same uh trick with your phone of course do you still want to show them uh the six version with your phone beth sure okay <clears throat> so i'm gonna record my melody La 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 So this is my one La 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 Okay, I'm starting there La 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 It worked! It works, it works. So this is definitely doable, guys. So please try this. Um, I'm, um, I'm going to explain a little bit uh, what we're going to do in the next video because we're going to make another video on this topic. There, we will explain how to keep singing in tune when you're singing together. Because uh, you might already be in a choir and might sometimes notice that you're not singing like really nicely in tune, but how do you correct yourself? This is going to be the topic of our next video. So, uh, right now, I want to thank Beth for making this video with me. It's <laughs> thank really you lovely for to me. have you so here. <laughs> yeah, because I've been working with you for many years now. Indeed. And this is actually the first time she's going to be on the channel. So, I'm really <laughs> happy. Um, so, guys, don't forget, leave your questions, results in the comments. And... Uh, I want to say something else. If you happen to live around Amsterdam, why not join one of our groups? Like we have yeah. two really, really nice groups and 
we could like definitely we would be happy if some more people join us i will leave a link uh to the website where you can find the info on the groups and i will also uh leave a link to the social media channels of the groups so you can just check them out awesome. okay guys last thing is try like not to stay away too long from this channel subscribe press the little bell so you get all the updates and i'll see you soon <laughs> bye